In the late 1950s, the United States proposed the concept of a flying jeep, hoping to create a cheaper and smaller aircraft than a helicopter that could carry soldiers to perform missions similar to a jeep. The VZ-8P was one of the products of the flying jeep concept, but it was abandoned in the 1960s. However, similar concepts did not completely disappear, and in the 1970s, the United States developed a small tactical air mobility platform called Garrett AI Research Stamp. The project began in December 1972, and the design company signed a $500,000 research and development contract with the Marine Corps to develop a small manned aircraft prototype. It could be flown by soldiers like the VZ-8P, quickly traversing complex terrain. The prototype was actually a modified helicopter, with the front fuselage of the OH-6A light helicopter directly used. It could accommodate two pilots side by side, and the rotor and other structures were removed, and a new power system was adopted. A Garrett TSE-231 turboshaft engine was installed at the rear of the fuselage. It operated at a speed of 6,000 rpm and generated a thrust of 1,050 pounds. The large-sized intake of the engine faced the tail of the aircraft, and the engine-driven fan drew in air from the intake. Some of this air was used by the engine, while the rest passed through the duct and mixed with the engine exhaust. The mixed high-speed airflow was divided into two parts and transmitted to both sides of the fuselage through related duct structures, and then discharged from the lower exhaust port, thereby generating the lift and forward thrust required for the aircraft. There were deflectable blades in the airflow channel, which could change the direction of the airflow appropriately by deflecting, completely generating lift when vertical, and producing forward thrust when the airflow was appropriately deflected backward. Turning or tilting could be achieved by changing the airflow on the other side. The cockpit was fully enclosed, and all operations of the aircraft were controlled by the pilots. Due to budget constraints, many electronic devices could not be installed, which increased the operational burden on the pilots. However, it was still acceptable for the prototype. The aircraft underwent test flights, and the flight control was good, but the fuel consumption was high. The endurance time was 30 minutes, and it reached a maximum speed of 120 km per hour, a maximum altitude of 1,500 meters, and a maximum range of 50 km. This exploration of the small tactical air mobility platform ended here, and there were no reports of its subsequent development. It may have been abandoned due to various reasons. Anyway, the Marine Corps has been using helicopters for combat operations afterwards, perhaps considering that helicopters are still better overall. The prototype of the small tactical air mobility platform had an empty weight of 300 kilograms, a length of 2.45 meters, a width of 1.8 meters, a height of 1.8 meters, a crew of two people, a sled-type landing gear, and no ejection seats for the crew.